Good morning, seniors. Um, today, I have for you a Wi-Fi wall switch. Okay, this can be controlled uh, by both your, your finger on the switch. It can be controlled with the app, and it be, can, can be controlled with Alexa by voice. So if this is of importance to you, stick around. I'll show you how to do it right after this. Okay, in case we haven't met before, my name is John Bell. I'm a retired school teacher and a full-time YouTuber. And today we're going to be discussing the uh, uh, Wi-Fi wall switch. Okay, these come in many different brands, different sizes, different features. You know, this happens to be the cheapest one on the market that I found, and it also works very well. Uh, so let's go over to the desktop, and we will review this. Okay, uh, you see, the last time I bought this was on October 27th. Um, that was about a mm, month and a half ago, five weeks ago, something like that. Um, you can see I purchased it two times. I've already installed two of them. Okay. Uh, it's made by Anku. It's a smart light switch. Their remote, I mean, their, uh, the remote app is called the Rec Smart app. We'll get into that later. Uh, it works with Alexa, Google Home. There's no hub required. This is not Bluetooth. This is this is Wi-Fi. So you don't need a Bluetooth hub to control the Wi-Fi switch. Okay. Uh, and it's uh, FCC listed. Okay. The low low price on this, I've seen these up to up to forty dollars a piece. Okay. The price on this is nine ninety nine. Okay. And if you're a member of Prime, you get free one-day shipping. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the overhead. I'm going to unbox this and show you about it. I, there's a few little points that I, I do want to stress to you that I'll be stressing many times in this video. and uh, But sometimes you only hear what you want to hear. So, you know, uh, let's get on with it. Okay, so here's the unit, Wi-Fi wall switch. Uh, you can operate it, you know, from the switch itself, through the app, or through Alexa. And, of course, it's Wi-Fi. Okay, we'll unbox this. Okay. Okay, you see it comes with new wire nuts to install it. <clears throat> That's good. And basically what I wanted to talk to you about is the wiring on this. Okay, you have four wires. The green, of course, is ground. That'll go to the green wires in your box or the bare wires in your box. Either way, the same thing. Put it on with the wire nut. Okay. You have a neutral on here. Why does a switch use a neutral? Well, I'll tell you. <clears throat> when you get AC in on the line switch and it goes out on the neutral, in between there is the lights on this switch. So any switch that requires a neutral lights up. Okay. And then, of course, the last wire, it shows a bulb. It's the load, whatever the load is, okay? It might be a light that you're controlling. It might be a fan, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's a load. Switch doesn't know the difference. Um, so, so that's it. If you do not have white wires in your switch box, when you take the cover off and take a look, put this back in the box, ship it back, and get your money back because it will not work unless you have a place to hook up this neutral. Okay. Okay, uh, so without further ado, uh, we're going to go right now and show you how to install this puppy. Okay, the first thing we want to do here is remove this plate, and I'll be back in just a second. 
Okay, now we have here um, this is the ground wire. Okay, this is the neutral wire. You have to have one of these in your box for this switch to work. Okay, this is the incoming hot and this is the outgoing to the to the light. Okay, so uh, the next step will be then is I'm going to have to um, wire up the new switch and I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay, so you see I have the switch here, all right, and we have the green to the bare grounds here, the white to the other whites, the neutral. If you do not have this neutral in your switch box here, go no further. Put it back in the box and send it back because this will not work without that neutral. The uh, incoming line is to the line on here, and this, the outgoing, that's the load, there. So now give me a few minutes to put this all back together and you see what it looks like when it's done. Okay, uh, now you can see the, the switch is mounted. Okay, and it's level. And all that is left to do now is to put the snap the cover on it. Just like so. And then like, there you go. Voila, done. Okay, now the next part will be we have to program it. And so we'll go back to the studio for that. Okay, we're back. Uh, you can see it's not very hard. It's uh, not any harder than uh, replacing a normal wall switch. Uh, the only difference is you have to make sure you have those uh, neutrals. Okay. Uh, so, um, that's it for this video. Remember, this is video one of three, okay? Uh, the next one up will be how to program it and use it with the app. The next one up will be how to enable uh, Alexa. So, until uh, the next one, this is John Bell signing off. This is John Bell thanking you for watching reviews. If you see this on Facebook, please like it. If you see it on YouTube, please subscribe. Until the next time, I wish you good luck and good night. May God bless.